Hey, what's up guys? Gons here for the Face Like the Sun YouTube channel. Just a quick video here. I, Borg, and other transhumans meet in Austin, Texas to talk about body hacking. The annual convention brings together scholars, activists, artists, and other experts driving the cyborg movement. And of course, I, Borg, is the gentleman pictured here. He had one of his eyes replaced and has a video camera in there that can record and take pictures at any time. And the conference is happening this weekend. It's called Body Hacking Con 2017, presenting the latest in cybernetics, bionics, AR and VR, wearable technology, fashion tech, and more. And uh, as you can see, you can see the kind of culture or design that they're pushing here. And part of the discussion is this gender identity thing, I think, that has been pushed in the mainstream. There's a reason for that. Because according to the occultists, they want to end gender because they want to go back to the hermaphroditic state that we were, quote unquote, in before the fall. That's what the, a lot of the occultists believe. I don't believe that. I believe God created man and woman. So it's not like we were hermaphroditic before God separated the rib from Adam and made woman. But that's what the elite behind this stuff believes and here are the people in charge of it, Trammell Ventures, Dustin Trammell, and Trevor Goodman, Luke Robert Mason, who is the executive director at Humanity Plus, and a few other folks. And you can see the kinds of lectures they're going to have. You are not an inkjet printer. How we'll get computers in our bodies but keep the DMCA out. DMCA being the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. That's interesting that they would be talking about that and how it affects us, the human body, the ethics in biohacking, procedures for implantable tech, lightning talk, knowledge net, new sensory experiences, watch me disappear, pro anorexia, self injury, and gendered bodies and virtual communities. And you got a few others here art at the intersection of humans and machines, and hybrid expo lounge, and of course, the wormhole. And if we keep scrolling down here, you got a few more. A body hack, apparel futures, regulation certifications, and standards in biohacking, using your genomic data to tailor an optimal health plan, designing implantable tech for everyone, open bionics, blending science fiction and reality. These are all goals, stated goals by transhumanists, H plus folks, futurists who believe that technology is going to liberate mankind. And this after the news came out that they have created the first human pig embryo in a lab. And everybody was talking about it this week. I wanted to shed light on this channel as well because it is so pertinent to what we're talking about. Pig-human hybrid brings us closer to barnyard organ factories. It's a big, ethically murky step, but pig-human organs are still far away. Uh, that's what they say to the public, but um, it looks like they are developing this stuff. And this is no surprise. Look, they told us back in 2011 that 150 human-animal hybrids grown in UK labs. Embryos have been produced secretively for the past three years, and this was 2011, folks. So a story like this is nothing new. They're just making it mainstream. They're just making it normal so that folks who are into this kind of thing will take up the technologies and move forward with it. And I think it all leads to a couple different prophecies in the Bible that talk about those who seek death and will not find it, but also what Jesus said in that, no flesh should survive if he doesn't put an end to this. And I think this has a major part to do with it. Now, these kinds of things is slow moving. It doesn't happen overnight, but we see this wave coming. And I think it's important for us to keep an eye out and know that this sort of thing is happening and that your fellow church members, your fellow Christians, family members, what do they think of it? Do they see the ties with this sort of thing, with the mark of the beast? Do they see the connection with the image of the beast? Do they see how this sort of thing can help people, but ultimately enslave people and perhaps even ruin mankind in the way we understand humans to be? All these questions are coming to the forefront now, and it's important for us in the church to stay on top of it because otherwise, culturally, Christians are behind on everything, right? We just want to stay ahead. We want to keep an eye on the stuff that's going on and inform you so that you know this sort of thing is happening. Have an awesome day, guys. God bless.